Hi guys, my name is Antonio Mejorado and we will see how to use a, an Excel file in Scilab. Here you have a file name Excel file and it has uh, two sheets. Uh, well, here we're going to try to use, first of all you got to change to the current directory where the file is. So you use that, change current directory and you select desktop, which is where my file is. Okay, I select desktop. Once I select a desktop, I could uh, type in Scilab the command there and it gives you all the, the uh, uh, files you have in that directory. So we can see my file there. It should be Excel file doc .xls. It should be xls extension file name. Okay. So now I could use the the function name uh, read xls. So I will assign in a variable the name data sheets. So data sheets will be read xls, which is a Scilab function. Read xls and you define your file name, which is in this case Excel file dot xls. Okay. So I define my name. So once I type enter, uh, I'm assigning. Actually, I had two different sheets: the machines data. And the labor that has one one, ha, one has uh, four rows and three columns, and the other has five rows and two columns. So I could extract data from there. So I will say like data labor equals cheats two. Ah, sorry, it's not cheats. It's data cheats. So data labor is another variable, and I'm using I'm I'm extracting from data cheats the second so this is my second sheet that has peter john louis mary and samantha uh labor hours so here you have if i use size data labor it gives me the dimension it has five rows and two columns okay <clears throat> so so now i can uh, Extract whatever I want from the Excel file with that read XLS. Here you have. Now I have machines data too, so I can get into machines data. So I could have data machines. It's another variable that I'm defining equals data sheets, and I use the first sheet. So data sheets one will be my first element, my first data in the sheets number one, the sheet one. So I have machines and several other values. So if I use size data machines, that gives me the dimension on that variable. So that will be four different machines and three different uh, columns, the machine data name and uh, some other stuff. So, okay. Uh, so now if I, if I wanna use a, a program to extract data, I could have uh, I could have a function name uh, get values that extract IMAT values. So get values is reading my file Excel file dot XLS. Okay, it should be XLX extension. Don't forget. So I use D sheets. D sheets it is we have the sheet, D sheet, and then I use D sheet two to get the second sheet. Okay. Um, I extract the the values from my sheet two using IMAT values equal sheet two, and I select the first says every row and only the second column. So if I run the program, I will get only the second column from my Excel file. Okay. Mm. Using the that uh, IMAT I'm at hours, okay. So I'm using read Excel, read XLS, and I'm using I'm at values, and it only get the second column. With that call, with that definition, I'm defining every row just the second column. <clears throat> so if I run the program, I should uh, well I I save my file. <clears throat> I should get uh, only that data, okay. That is the second column of my 
sheet uh, 2, which is the labor sheet. So if I say size, I'm at values. I'm sorry, it's not at my I'm at values. I don't remember the name I used. Let me see. Mm, it should be I'm at something. Maybe I'm at hours. Oh yeah, I'm at hours. So if I use size, I'm at hours, <clears throat> which is the value I use in my main program. It should be five comma one, which is five rows and one column. Okay. So I can change my program and get uh, instead of the second sheet, I could use uh, <clears throat> maybe I can change. Yeah, I can uh, I can have maybe I can change. Yeah, I could use if I want sheet number one. <clears throat> yeah, if I want the the sheet number one data. Here you have the second and the third uh, column. I can use sheet one there. And in here, I could uh, go from the second to the third column. So it says from the second to the third column, I, it doesn't matter which row I have, from the second to the third column. So in my main program, it will be I'm at something else, like I'm at machines data okay so if I run the program <clears throat> I will display I'm at machines data now okay getting the first uh, chip so if I run the program you will see the difference yeah now I have two columns from my my machines data sheet here you have these are my machines data columns so it is that's the way so you use size I map machines data and it is for rows and two columns so this is the way you can get data from your Excel file anytime you want okay bye bye